to the other. We left the Grand Canyon and drove to Bryce Canyon, which is roughly 5 hours away. On our way we passed Glen Canyon Dam, where Colorado River snakes through the valley and catches one's attention in its deep blue shades. This is also where the famous Horseshoe Bend viewpoint is located, but we skipped it as it looked pretty busy. Soon after the dam we crossed into another state, Utah. And once again I was surprised by how diverse the landscape is. From deserts to green valleys to red canyons, Utah seems to have it all. I'd say Bryce Canyon is the most unique national park of the ones I got to visit. The landscape is just so mesmerizing and alien. I don't think we have anything like this in Europe. These strange rock towers are called hoodoos, quite a cool name, right? And they are sculpted by weather and erosion, forced mainly by ice and rain. The canyon was extreme in weather even when we visited. At night the temperature would fall to a few degrees, while during the day it rose above 30 degrees Celsius. So we started our hikes roughly at 7.30 in the morning to beat the heat and the crowds.
Our second hike was one big loop, combining two smaller ones. Navajo loop and peekaboo loop. Compliments for the name of the second one. Very original. While the first one, I think I was learning how to pronounce it the whole trip. While the previous hike featured a lot of expansive views and panoramas, this hike was more among the hoodoos, letting us explore the grandness from below. And while we started the hike in near silence and peace and quiet, towards the end we were surrounded by the crowds. It is a popular section.